So right now I'm happy to welcome Felix Reinshagen, co-founder co and CEO of Navis and his colleague Michael. So hello Felix, hello Michael, welcome and happy to have you here. Thanks for in having us. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm in Europe from Navis. You have a huge booth here directly also here in our hall in Hall 23 and uh, I heard you clapping, party, celebrating <laughs> <laughs> and I saw many people visiting your booth. So just explain me who is Navis, where you're from, what exactly is this? So. Let us talk a bit about you. <laughs> yes. So perhaps let me introduce myself very quickly. I'm Felix. I'm one of the co-founders and the CEO of Navis. Um, we are um, still calling ourselves a startup, even though we have uh, grown into a company of um, around 250 people by now. Mm -hmm. um, a success story then. Absolutely, yes. Um, and um, we were actually um, a spin-off from Technical University in Munich. Mm -hmm. Uh, 2013 um, and of course we started as a real research team it was all PhD students and um, it took us of course a couple of years to turn the fundamental research which was all about photogrammetry um, computer vision 3d data processing slam into a first set of products and um, of course these products still had some way to go um, and um, yeah I think we are um, we are now at a, at, at a stage as a company where we are really kind of serving a very, very global market. So mm -hmm. that's why we are, since many years, I think 2015 was the first year, um, always very happy to come to, to interview. And I'm very happy to have Michael with me today. Yeah. Um, and but, but Michael has something with him. I, I guess it's not normal that you wear something like that around your head. <laughs> it's very normal for us. <laughs> okay. So, so would you just explain us what it is and for exactly um, for which application it is to use? And yeah. Yes. So like, you know, what are we doing at Navis? You know, the, our larger mission is um, to make scanning a lot easier, faster and more mm -hmm. cost efficient, specifically in the indoor space. Um, and um, the VLX is the newest iteration of many, many years of first fundamental research uh, while we were still at the university and, um, and then of course of product development at Navis and together with our customers. Okay. Um, and it's a but why did you decide to wear it at the body? Because we saw Robert at the floor, we see them uh, at the yes. air, but this one you wear actually just uh, like a jacket around you and a helmet. A lot of research and as well specifically user research has been put into the form factor. Okay. Um, and, and of course the mission was to bring the speed that we already see in mobile mapping mm -hmm. on cars outdoors mm -hmm. into the building and move away from stationary scanning, mm -hmm. which was of course a market standard now for many years. Um, and we are a software company by heart. so the modern world of algorithm and, and, and um, allows us now to bring incredible quality into laser scanning while you're moving around. And of course, while you're moving around, you're up a lot faster and you can see things from many different directions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see the cameras around there, exactly. the processor and the, the electricity and so on. It's all in, in there. It's That's... all in there, exactly. So, And of course, that ambition translates into of course, certain elements in the design and in the form factor. And um, let's perhaps, you know, start with why you wear it in front of yourself and mm -hmm. why it's not a backpack. Yeah. yeah Which so. might be the first natural thing. And, mm -hmm. and you know, if you run around yeah. here, you see some backpacks. So yeah. our designers, industrial designers worked a lot with backpack prototypes. But of course, these are very kind of fragile sensors. Mm -hmm. And if you carry them behind you mm -hmm. and someone calls your name in a tight environment on a construction site and you suddenly turn around yeah. and you hit the sensor on a wall. It's that's just when you wear your baby also on the front. Exactly. I don't wear my little baby on my back. I wear That is a perfect front. analogy yeah. that we have been using. <laughs> so this is your baby. Yeah. Things Carrying that you really want to take care of and you know you want to move consciously, mm -hmm. you wear that in front of you. Mm -hmm. Um, and there's another big advantage, you know, um, we have um, a touch screen here, this is very high resolution, ah. that gives you all the real-time information, mm -hmm. um, so you see in real-time how the 3D map is building, you see as you are changing stories, you see you get a color coding that tells you how well have you already scanned certain areas, you see your whole trajectory, mm -hmm. um, you can do the whole data set management, and of course it's very helpful to have that in front of you, mm -hmm. and still can take your hands totally off the device. Yeah. Okay. Because that's as well something I think everyone who works in reality capture knows. Not always is the place that you want to scan perfectly tidy. You might need to open doors, move furniture around. And if you have a handheld and a smartphone, 
and then you need to open a door mm -hmm. or you know move some stuff around mm -hmm. that's actually not very practical okay this is smart this is clever so okay. after going through many iterations it turned out that carrying a scanner is really kind of best done in front of you and that is really really helpful to have a screen right in front of your eyes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what is your actually target audience? So who are you looking for at Intertree? Who uses this exactly? <laughs> so I think what is really revolutionary about this is that we are now capable of delivering data quality that is very close and for many use cases on par with what you could previously only achieve with terrestrial laser scanning. Mm -hmm. And of course, mobile mapping, dynamic scanning has been around for many years. But it was actually restricted to use cases that um, would be fine with very low data quality. And the VLX combines two 16-line LiDAR scanners, one in the vertical and one in the horizontal, mm -hmm. and five cameras that give you perfect 360 panoramas, while of course not showing the operator. You know, again, if you have a backpack or a device that you are carrying in front of you and you have a panoramic camera, a huge part of your panoramic image will be occupied by the operator. And we hide the operator perfectly in the blind spot so you get very, very clean data. Mm -hmm. And then I think the other thing that's really very special for our target audience, the device is perfectly designed to tie into traditional means of surveying. So we can read ground control points, we can read wall control points, so that you can easily kind of use your surveying network, tie the mobile scan in. You can, of course, even scan in more ground control points or kind of survey points than necessary to make sure that you've got um, the system overdetermined and can calculate automatically using our software um, uh, the error and automatically correct the errors. So um, I think that is what makes the device really revolutionary. Mm -hmm. It's the speed, mm -hmm. but the first time that speed is actually coming with a data quality okay. um, that um, is actually you know, really applicable for, I think, most of the use cases around scan to BIM, construction monitoring, um, all kind of um, standard surveying work that you would be doing um, around as is documentation, as build documentation, um, um, drawing of all kinds of plans. Um, we've, as well by now, uh, gained a lot of experience in very difficult environments with reflective surfaces. Um, and, and here again, the fact that we are seeing things from so many different perspectives mm -hmm. wow. and that we have the chance for the LiDAR system to, if you walk around, to perp every surface from the perfect angle yeah. as well results in very, very clean data and almost perfect coloring. Wow, that's really cool. So. Thanks again for presenting that revolutionary device to us, to our audience of Intergeo TV this year at Intergeo 2021. Um, did you have time to stroll around in the halls or get some impressions? What's going on here and how do you feel? What do you think of Intergeo 2021? Yeah, first we are incredibly thankful, you know, for Intergeo to happen again. Yeah. Um, 2019 um, was the last time I was personally at Intergeo. Mm -hmm. We were there last year digitally, but these two years were a huge transformation for us as a company. You know, we've almost doubled in size. Um, we launched the VLX uh, before that. We had card-based systems that were already good in data quality, but of course, by far not that versatile and had a very different price point in the market. So we're, of course, very proud to be back two years later as you know, twice a large company and with a very large boost. And um, I think the reception in the market um, has been awesome over the last year even through COVID and it's really good to now feel that and see that in person with such a large audience so um, so a lot of people please you know everyone come by um, yeah, I think course. there's a lot of activity um, you have the chance to play around with the technologies getting our booth or a part of, um, of Intergeo here live um, no it is um, it's good to reconnect with people um, not only in a digital way but as well um, on a very personal level and that was I think what always made Intergeo special and it's as well good to see a lot of friends from the industry. Um, so we are very happy um, about the show and very happy to be back. Thank you very much, Felix Reinshagen and Michael with the VLX, our uh, super uh, model today for presenting <laughs> that I'll revolutionary take, take. device. So thanks for joining us. <laughs>